chapter 7 the bipolar biasing we study about temperature stability we know that the, there's current operator device on the pnp or npn now however it only happens when small biasing current ib flows through the base semi or transistor it, it is like as a base to sort of a current control input circuit now the ratio of these two current the ic by ib the collector current and ib current is called the dc current gain of the device and given by a symbol called the beta beta has no unit it is just a ratio of ic by ib as the current current gain through the emitter to current control now there is also control between the current called ic by ie ic by ie is the alpha as a function of transistor itself as the emitter current per it's a product of very small base current to the very large collector current current the value of parameter alpha is like this alpha is a unity and the value of the beta is typically very low now the dc gain is the output of one input so output is ic is by ib and beta is ic by ib alpha is ic by ie the emitter current is a combination of ic and ib and the voltage applied to the collect collector emitter is combination of voltage bcb plus be now by combining two parameters alpha and beta we can produce the mathematical expression which forms a relationship between the different current flowing in the transistor that the beta is equal to alpha of upon alpha one minus alpha and alpha is equal to beta upon beta plus one now in the common base we have the base common to the emitter and collector we, here the source is connected in the emitter size and the yeah, load is connected to, to the collector and the base is common so base is the circuit which is uh, common to both of them now the output signal is taken from the between the base and the collector terminal and there is a fixed reference bias over here the input current flowing into the emitter is quite large as the sum of the both the base current and the collector current the collector current output is less than the emitter current. This type of configuration is a non inverting voltage amplifier. In the signal V and V output are in phase. This type of arrangement is not common due to its unusual high voltage gain characteristics. Its output is represented by a forward bias. Also, in this configuration, the voltage gain for the base can be given in this way. Now, we are giving a parametric sweep, primary sweep, to the circuit and the circuit fan vcc1 from 0 to 20 volt with 0.1 increment the graph will be like that so this will give give our, our the ic the collective current iq1 now we in order to for amplification we need a qe point the point at, which is not at the cutoff or not at the saturation so this is the point which is in the middle of circuit it's nearby uh, 3.5 something milliampere now voltage divider this on type of circuit which is used for amplification this is we give the primary sweep from 0 to 20 to the vc2 this parameter now we generate a collector current curve this is the curve and we analyze other circuit like collector feedback this collector is given feedback we see four at the emitter biasing so this is the emitter of circuit and we give the biasing now we will start about the advanced activity now in this circuit we have even the little changes do the changes as soon going over here we want to generate an M for appropriate set of transistors the collector curves and four Q points. So in this circuit make a changes. Select the points, connect the circuit.
the right hand side is the configuration quite stable but it requires two pause power supplies this is like a bipolar bias circuit and we're gonna connect it when the IC goes up VC goes down this negative feedback effect improves stability so we're gonna give the feedback in order to improve this stability that's the feedback we are going to make connect to the connected to the base circuit save the circuit now label it a bipolar bias circuit the first one is the collector feedback and the right hand one with emitter biasing so what we're gonna do is we're making a feedback to the collector let me collect the feedback Ammeter biasing. That's a V one twenty volt DC. Make it 800k. The feedback resistance R2. Make it 500. Make this one as a 600k. Make Voltage V1 20 volt DC. Voltage V2 it will be also 20 volt DC. So V4 V2 20 volt DC. We are constructing a circuit so that uh, we can make generate the series of cores so that we can get the Q point the Q point is needed for the proper biasing we need a point which is neither in the cutoff neither in the saturation mode so that's what I'm gonna do make it as a 2 ok Five K. We we see. Make we see. Place the net alias and the VC and VS.
So these are all the land areas. So we make a new simulation and we use the values we see for for the collector feedback. Chapter four, other biasing circuit. VC3 and VCE for the emitter biasing. Now we need a bias point from the simulation. to collect the feedback now start the simulation do as per scene this will give the biasing point current voltage values all the voltage at particular points now This will give all the bit key panel test points as VC3 and VC3. So VCQ is equal to 10.88 plus, oh sorry, minus minus alpha plus, and the VCQ 0 0.83, 1.9, this one will be the VCEQ. set the simulation profiles we need to make a simulation so that we can generate a cause now make a time DC sweep from for the we need the for the V1 and generate the DC sweep from this 20 volt now we are making DC sweeps because we need to make a Q point on a graph so Change the bias parameter. It will be IQ four C. Add address. That's the cue point.
of the collector current collector feedback circuit so there are all the few cue points for the ICQ curve now add the simulation for the emitter biasing change the parameter of V2 this will be for the emitter biasing find the cue points run the simulation this is the graph change the x-axis parameter ICQ3 This is the VCQ3 minus VEQ3. So in this graph, this will feel the voltage difference will apply to the transistor. So make a four Q points over here. That's the almost appropriate value on the dress. Cursor deals with so that we can know the value of the point at which we are. That's it. Mm -hmm. Keep on, keep on moving the point. Now it's 11, 6, 11, 7. X axis is 11, 7, 1, and 4. Point, y axis is 4.557. That's other Q point. Q point for the emitter bias circuit. The calculation is shown in the PDF file attached to this file. Here is only the simulation I'm telling to you. So that's the point. Or Q point for the emitter bias. I'll go back to simulation. Now we generate a power dissipation in the transistor for each of the four by circuit power transitive in the Q1 is equal to V into I for the voltage divide the circuit power transitive is equal to this much it's a V into I simply the V into I Just keep on doing that. Seven point four five six volt. Five point five seventy. A com complete analysis will lead power dissipation for all of the circuit. That's for voltage divider. That's a voltage divide circuit. Power by power dissipation for collector feedback. Simply be into I for the Q3. It's 4.5, no 4.3, 
Thank you very much.